Welcome back to another level grind let's play. I am Al Zero and this is Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time we played, we finished the trial. It was Leon and he got his punishment. And now we're all just a little bit sadder and because someone died and three people have died. Let's continue on to chapter two. Oh, I'm just looking around my freaking room because I'm like saddened. Do I even want to look in my bathroom? Oh crap, I can't go in my bathroom. For whatever reason. It's gone. She she really is gone. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like you said. After the class trial before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the last class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. It's okay. No need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted smiling faces is thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. <laughs> you bastard. I didn't even have time to mourn Sayako or end Juko's death. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry I'm late. Uh, no, sir. Hey, uh, are you okay, Makoto? You sure took your sweet time. I was just about to go get you and drag you back here. S sorry. Mm -hmm. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like he said? <laughs> I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. <laughs> what a bad joke. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like the whole thing never happened. Shulk. Must be tough staying t uh must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there with her sentence still hanging in the air. That would hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Mm. Makoto. Mm. Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't going to help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. Mm -hmm. Should everyone just try and cheer up and get back on track? <laughs> Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? Huh? <laughs> We were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, if not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. Sareba. But if we work together against the Mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Yeah, Keep telling yourself that. It'll be over here in the real world. We're together, fighting a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? <laughs> the Mastermind suits me much more powerful than we had ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to their desires. They created Monokuma, which seemed to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing it. They're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top of this. Oh, down the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. <laughs> Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. Not up. Then, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly wants to escape will just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. <laughs> no. Nanda. To know what? Mm. I don't mm. want to live if it means yeah, killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? Dote. Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But, but, uh, uh, if we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? This isn't what you wanted, is it? Oh, this is all. She's right. If you keep the kind of blame on yourself, you're gonna turn into a full-fledged masochist. She 
Hero, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we'd refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Is it nighttime already? Oh, it's right after the trial, duh. Yeah, it's night time. No, 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 no. We get it. We get it. We get it. Good night. Bastard. What was that just about now? Was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Piece of shit. Who does he think he is? And so, the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates, Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Chapter 2. Boy's Life of Death. Of Despair. <laughs> Whoops. I was going to say death there. Daily life. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. What's he going to do this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in this little game. And with the goal in mind, he began it. Hey. What the hell? The hell? Ah, doesn't that just feel great? Being stuck inside like this, you gotta make sure to stay healthy. You're the one keeping us stuck inside. Don't sweat the small stuff, that's my motto. Whoa, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? Thought I did. So, why did you call us here? Certainly wasn't just to make us exercise. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep doing those exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. Passed down from generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness. That power could be yours. Hi. That sounded like kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here? Oh, oh this is Makoto. <laughs> Whoops. It showed, it showed Monokuma. And I was like, what the hell? It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? I know not. Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then... Ah! I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope Speak, a whole new world would open up to you. Do, do you to a, a whole new world? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. <laughs> So go ahead, look around all you want, enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. Huh. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than we would we'd, we'd shown up. But, a new world. Is he talking about a way to get outside? That seems unlikely. Why don't we know until we look? Whenever he met, it seems we have to search the school one more time. Okay, then let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet up back at the dining hall. We'll show what we found. <laughs> you're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? Make more like a staples food source. Let's get moving. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Um, well, let's get the hell out of here. Because, wait, do I have to find Kyoko? 
Or let's talk to let's talk to Yasuhiro. Do do you go to the bay? Hey Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Bad. This is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. Mm. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing. But this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. That stuff you see lined up there. Any god could come by and see it and send us, uh, and use it to send a message. Uh, I've been stuck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of dev total devastation and ruin. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. I really regret talking to him. <laughs> Whoa! Makoto, look! The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor has opened up. But it's also of utmost importance to double check the areas we've already known about, just in case. Aren't I so clever to think that I've really impressed myself sometimes? Well, I'll leave the school to you. All right, well, before we go upstairs, let's uh, double check down here. Can't go in there. Um, <gasps> I have a lot of Monokuma coins. I could get a bunch of stuff, but you know what? Let's, I think there's something over here we have to check. Let's go back this way. Oh, crap. I can't. Ah, oh, fine. All right, we got to go to the second floor. Mondo, you were there just a second ago. I don't know where you went. All right, let's go upstairs. The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is this what Monokuma meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? Let's go check it out. This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. Well, uh, let's go to the bathroom. Yeah, be something in the bathroom, right? Uh... This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful in there. Uh, let's see. There's just the one thing. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Uh, let's see. Oh. What? Okay, that's an empty hall. Classroom 2A. The baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. Oh, soccer. Not of hot. This must be what he meant by new world. Hmm. I should probably take a really close look around. Um, yeah? Maybe? Yeah, let's get out of here. Uh, do 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 What the rest am I missing? I was in there. Um. Oh, okay, that's blocked off. Let's go over here. Let's get down to this big red area. I bet I could check some of these and get some monochrome coins, but you know what? That's not. Um, what is this? Go to be? It's another classroom. Reality isn't everything, and there's no one here. Really? Can I? Uh, nope. Okay, let's get out of here. You think there'd be somebody in there? All right, let's go check the last door I was avoiding because I know it's progress. Let's go into here, the library. Yeah, see everybody's in here. Let's talk to Kyoko. So way over there. <sighs> it's remarkably dusky in here and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. Let's talk to Fumi. I'm absolutely shocked. How come? They have all these books here, and not one copy of any of my work. Well, yeah. Why would they have comics in a library? <laughs> Plus, most fanfic is just porn drawn on a bunch of amateurs. Wait, hold on. Fanfic is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. <laughs> you just don't get it. Not at all. <laughs> I do get it. When with a face like yours, anyone could tell nothing you do is worthwhile. <laughs> Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. <laughs> now hear this. Appearances mean nothing at all. But what you see before you is nothing more than the ride that contains the meaty pulp of my genius. 
my creations are what determine my meaning and value. <laughs> You're so full of it. <laughs> I'm used to be misunderstood. You think weak attacks like yours will drop my HP? Those two really worry me. Uh, let's talk to... Oh man, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Let's talk to Toko. Toko, you're kind of cute, girl. You must be pretty happy to have all these books around, huh, Toko? <laughs> Not particularly. Nothing's really caught my attention so far. Mm -hmm. Indeed. There's a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seemed lacking. <laughs> Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section? Huh? C -c comic books? Young adult? That's, that's a waste of time. <laughs> I've seen you write your. Oh, wait, hold on. I've seen what you write, Miss Fukawa. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. <laughs> My stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to that garbage of yours. Your writings don't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled letters. Someone just. just. just burn it all! <laughs> Ooh, the lady doth protest too much, we thinks. I bet you're in secret need to boy on boy action. <laughs> boy on boy? I don't care if it's anime or comic or fanfic or whatever. <laughs> it's all filth. Throwaway culture that should be trashed and forgotten in half a decade. No! Uh, just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> you've insulted me and you've insulted my honor. Those two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like it. You know, I think I should have talked to Toko first before I talked to Fumi because. Is that a freaking letter? Because the that seemed like. Because you mentioned comic books but when I talked to Hifumi first. And then she talks about comics here. She's just like, comics? So, I don't know. I think that was out of order. Let's see this letter first. The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. What's this? Host Peak Academy. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. So, question. What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Oh, okay. I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written from the Hope Speak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope Speak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope Speak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over these years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? <laughs> <laughs> the contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. <laughs> it would seem Hope Speak had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope Speak closed down at least a year ago? <laughs> Most likely. The master might take over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that wouldn't mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been all over the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online about the school and never saw anything about this. That must have been all part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. <laughs> of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. If it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. 
The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. <laughs> that would be a nice, simple solution, it's true. But, but then, what about the other part? This decision was not easy to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end of Hope Speak Academy. We intend to reopen blah blah blah. What did it mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? If the two events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. <laughs> so in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. If we could figure out why they would have want to imprison us all here, will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Uh, Alright, let's talk to Byakuya. Hmm. But still, the library is most interesting. Huh? What's interesting about it? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Uh, do we have to talk to Kyoko again? <sighs> it's Marco no, it's the same. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, so something I have to look at. Uh, oh, the back door. What's behind this door? Hmm. It's some kind of archive. All I saw in there was stacks of old books and files. I can't imagine what business you would have in there. That's true. I don't really have any reason to check it out. Can I leave now? Really? There's more stuff here? I don't see anything. Um... Guess the desk? Thick layer of dust on top of the desk. It looks like the dust has been neglected for a pretty long time. As nice as the school itself is, whoever's in charge of upkeep has been pretty lazy. Strange. <gasps> Coin! Yeah! I have an even 80 now. Look at the books. The shelf is packed with tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. Looks like this library has been neglected for a pretty long time. As nice as the school itself is, whoever's in charge of upkeep has been pretty lazy. No, I've already seen that. Look at the camera. Let's see. How long are we stuck been watching this camera or there's something on the wall here? Oh, the desk. Looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old. It's covered in dust. It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. All right, I think I can leave now. Yeah, just had to check out the laptop. All right, it's time for us to return to the diner. Or well, not the diner, but uh, gotta go back to the uh, dining hall and then talk to everybody about what we found. But we're gonna continue this next time. <laughs>